on. Well, garden enthusiasts and plant lovers alike will love this fundraiser. It's all about making your very own succulent garden. Scarlett and I have been making ours. I loved a little bit of moss and glass added to my succulent garden, but there's plenty of different things you can do. And we're here with the owner of Zach's, uh, or manager of Zach's Nursery, Heather Spring, to tell us a little bit about some of the fun that we're gonna get to do with succulents today. So what's some of the fun gardening tips you can give for people coming today with these succulents? Well, they're most the most durable of the plant groups. I mean, we can leave them for a couple weeks sometimes if it's not 100 degrees, and we just wanna make sure that you don't overwater them. That's the biggest mistake that people usually make and you just test it with like a bamboo stick or you know something similar and you just poke it in if it's dry or if you get things on it you don't need to water it if it's dry that's when you water it but you want to wait until it's bone dry so these are kind of the perfect plants for an event like this where you could really get a lot of people whether or not you're you have a green thumb unlike me who yes. tends to kill all my <laughs> yes. plants yes it's usually and they don't kill it but sometimes <laughs> we still do <laughs> and what made you guys think to open up an event like this to the community and bring people out who like you were saying either have a green thumb or just want to have some fun with some plants and make these fun little gardening we're just trying to get the message out there that you know it's not as hard as you think I mean and so we're trying to get even the schools and things like that I've been working with just to get them to know about gardening and being outside with you know and the community members down the street have a community garden things like that so we just want to bring more people here to be aware of it's not that hard mm -hmm. and then you know graduate up to the other ones because we need trees everywhere in the bay you know cover well yeah definitely a lot of fun and like we said you know you can be a novice and really enjoy making one of these gardening one of these little succulent gardens and all of the uh, the proceeds from today's events are going to be going to benefit the Ronald McDonald house Scarlett tell us a little bit about how you guys decided to team up with Zach's nursery for this came out to meet Heather a couple weeks ago and through a mutual friend and she's like hey you want to have a make and take uh, event and I said sure because you know we haven't had many events in the last year so it's just one more way we can get the message out to the community raise some money for the house of course and um, then Heather even offered in addition to part of the proceeds that come to us from the make and take 20% of all the sales today um, from anything else comes back to the house as well so even if you for whatever reason can't do the make and take today come out and shop and shop for a cause because it's always great but it's just beautiful here and we love partnering with people in the community to make a difference in the lives of the families we serve Alrighty, definitely. So fun event, definitely gonna take home some fun gardens. So if you guys are interested in taking part, there's still spots available. You can head to our website, turn to 23.com, and we'll have all the information there for how to RSVP. Live in East Bakersfield, I'm Veronica Morley, 23ABC, connecting you.